At this hour, we are tracking a forewarned weather alert because of the high heat. This is a live look at Belleville Lake. It would be nice to be in the water, right? There's also some risks, some showers and storms could pop up. So we're going to bring Brian back to kind of guide us through a very very warm slash hot dangerous night ahead. Yeah, it's going to be extremely warm and muggy tonight, Karen, with a few of those pop up storms, much like we had yesterday. Our excessive heat warning continues for Genesee County, Oakland, Macomb and Wayne counties until 8 o'clock on Friday night. The rest of the region, a heat advisory until 8 o'clock on Friday night, just because of how high temperatures have been and where they're going to go with the heat index value over the next two to three days. As we look outside our window here, Tower Cam and Belleville sunshine shine and a little bit of cloud cover, but those temperatures are downright hot. 89 in Detroit, 86 in Howe, 88 or I should say 86 in Port Huron. But once you factor in the humidity, this is what we're really wanting to look at. 97 at City Airport, 97 at Metro Airport, 91 in Pontiac, 91 as you work into Lapeer and 94 in Sandusky, our heat index. So the cloud cover we've had intermittently today kind of helping our cause just a little bit for right now to keep our heat index values out of that triple digit territory. You can see those heat advisories and heat warnings from the northeast all the way back into the Midwestern United States. Just a little bit of cloud cover streaming off to the north and with just a little bit of instability, we are going to hold on to a few thunderstorms tonight, much like we saw last night. The Storm Prediction Center has placed all of southeastern Michigan a level one marginal risk for severe weather, heavy rain, some gusty winds and definitely lots of lightning possible with just a few of these storms as we go through the rest of the evening tonight. Clouds and radar does a good job with it here by 515. These showers and thunderstorms really the definition of hit or miss till about 11 o'clock or midnight tonight. Then we keep a little cloud cover into the overnight hours tonight into early on Wednesday morning. We start off dry and we stay dry for majority of the day. But once we get that peak daytime heating afternoon into early tomorrow evening through about 9 to 10 o'clock on Wednesday night, holding on to a few thunderstorms. But I do think most everybody will stay dry if you don't get under one of those thunderstorms for tomorrow. Then our feels like forecast heat index values by 115 tomorrow afternoon, upper 90s, lower 100 showing up again from Metro Airport all the way over to City Airport, and it's still going to be very warm and very humid Wednesday night into early on Thursday morning. This is 945 Wednesday night, still feeling like the 80s and lower 90s, and it's going to feel like the 70s and possibly lower 80s heading out the door on Thursday morning in some locations and we warm things up again very quickly as we go into Thursday. Heat index values upper to lower 90s for most everybody and it looks like these numbers are going to be sticking around all the way through Friday. I'm really not looking at any relief in the heat department until we get to the end of the week, first half of the weekend. Today, 89 so far for a high temperature, so we're not anywhere close to the record high, but Wednesday, Thursday and Friday here, we're coming within a couple degrees of it, so we will keep an eye to see if we go into record territory, but again, it's all about how it's really going to feel before it's all said and done. Overnight tonight, we dropped to 74, a few storms early, otherwise warm and muggy with that south southeast wind at three to six miles an hour. Tomorrow, much of the same. We head for 94, mostly cloudy with that sunshine getting in there from time to time like today and a few thunderstorms possible. That south southwest wind at three to six miles an hour warming us up yet again. Our forewarned weather alert continues through Friday, but we're still in the 90s on Saturday with holding on to a slight chance of a few storms. Then the 80s come into the forecast with a few more chances for rain and storms, Karen, as we go from Sunday into early next week. So Friday's really the day we start to wind this down, even though we're going to be in the 90s for the first part of the weekend. It's kind of weird to think Friday's the official start of summer. Yeah, right? I know. Tell me about it. It's like we're getting summer a week early here. So, All right. Thanks, thank Brian. you, Karen. Appreciate it.